Hi guys, today we're going to do hip opening stretches in just 15 minutes. All you need is a strap, so if you don't have one, quickly just grab a belt from your cupboard. Okay, let's do this. Straps aside, and this is a follow along all the way. And come down onto your back. We're going to rotate into the hips so your legs are together, arms are just relaxed next to the body. We're starting with the right leg, both legs stay straight. We start with the right leg, lifting it just a little bit off the floor and we're starting clockwise so we're going to take the leg to the left. Inhale, take your leg to the left and over the body and exhale down on the right. We're going to do five. So your whole body stays flat on the floor, the right hip might lift, and only making the rotations as large as your hip allow you. So if you feel this is too much for your hip, then you can make small circles like that. Okay, inhale up and exhale down on the other side. When you get to number five, don't put your leg down. We're going to go the opposite direction, so inhale to the right, over the body, and exhale down on the left. Up to five. Two. Three. This is great if you have arthritis in your hips. And the last one. And we're going to go to the opposite leg, again clockwise, lift the left leg just slightly off the floor and inhale to the left and exhale down on the right. Up to five, two, And one more. And we change direction. Inhale to the right. And exhale down on the left. And one more. And relax. Very good. And we're going to sit up, bring the one knee into your chest, interlock your fingers, squeeze the knee as close to your chest as you can, keep it close to the chest, so don't let it go away. Keep it here and then use the opposite leg and we throw it up and down and come up. Ooh. <laughs> and we're up. Okay. And straight legs, we're going to work more into the hips, especially in the inside of the hips. So bring the soles of your feet together and then work your buttocks as close to the heels as you can. Get hold of your toes and we're going to flap softly into the groin. This is great for your hips, your ovaries your bladder and we slow down the flapping and stop. Now I want you to get hold of your feet and open your feet so you try to see the soles of your feet. You'll feel the knees automatically go down to the floor. Once you've got them open as much as you can, get hold of the toes again and then inhale, straighten your back and exhale, bring your chest down to the feet and the head. If your knees are up here, just use the elbows to help opening the legs and we hold it. Mm -hmm. 
and inhale slowly come back up very good keep the soles of the feet together and just move your feet forward so you have a nice diamond shape inside the legs we're now going to stretch the outside of the hips and again inhale straighten your back and exhale come forward as much as you can you can have the arms at the top or you can slide your arms underneath and head down and we hold it you can close your eyes if you want to focus on your breath and the stretch inhale slowly release and come up and straighten your legs give them a bit of a shake up and down and side to side very good okay we're going to do ankles on knees now so if you have uh, knee problems rather skip this one so it's very simple but it is quite strong on the outside of the hips and the knees so you're gonna bend your left leg and bring the shin parallel to your chest, to your shoulders. So the foot is not in, the foot is not out there. It is in line with the knee. And we're gonna take the right ankle, stack it on top of the left knee. So the right knee might do this, that's okay. You just sit here, don't press it down and you'll feel the stretch. Okay, if your knee can come down, you can stay here or you can exhale straight back and bring the elbows onto the knee and the ankle, or if that's too easy, come all the way down with the hands and the elbows on the floor. And we hold it. If you were a runner, this could be quite tight for you. If you did leg day yesterday, <laughs> this will be quite intense. slowly come back up if you're down and then release the top leg and then the bottom and unfortunately have to do the other side <laughs> so pin the right uh, knee ankle in line with the knee and we stack the left ankle on top and straighten the back try to do the same on this side as you did on the other side and exhale come down and we hold it come back up and slowly release your legs very good we're going to do the full lotus you can also do the half lotus and this is the one we're going to need the strap so bring your strap closer hey my boy and we're going to first do the legs so bring your right ankle place it as high up as you can on the left thigh watch your knees please watch your knees and for the half lotus you can just take the left ankle and tuck it underneath and you are in half lotus the foot is not in here it's on the leg okay now if you want to do the full let lotus the full leaf the full lotus the left uh, ankle is not under foot it's on top so just take your foot and it's on top again the feet doesn't slide in they are actually on the legs the knees are as close to the floor as you can okay but watch your knees this is quite strong on the knees and we're going to add the arms you're going to inhale take your arms to the side right arm at the top left on the bottom and you get hold of the hands if that's too strong for you i'm going to turn so you guys can see take the strap in your right hand let the piece dangle down 
and the right arm at the top, left comes down, get hold of the strap and wiggle your way as high as you can on the strap or get hold of the fingers or even get hold of the wrists. And then once you've got hold of it, lift your head so your chin is parallel to the floor so your spine is straight. We always want to protect the spine. And this elbow is not here, it's up as far back as you can and we hold it. Remember to come out when you feel your body had enough. And exhale, slowly let go of the arms, strap to the side, and then the legs, release the top and the second one, and straighten out. Okay, and we're gonna go to the other side. So try to do the same as you did on the other side. So left ankle this time on the right thigh. If you did half lotus, you do it again. Otherwise, right foot on top. Here we go. This time the strap goes into your left hand and the left arm is at the top. The right arm is at the back and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle until you get hold of the fingers or the strap. Elbow up, head up and we hold it. And inhale and exhale, slowly let go of your arms and then release your legs and straighten out. Now you can place the strap to the side. We have one more stretch to go. This is called the frog. So if your knees hurt when you press them on the floor, then place a little blanket under your knees. So just lean to the side, tuck your uh, feet in, come onto the knees come sideways on your mat. If your knees hurt, just place a little blanket here and then place the knees on the blanket and open your knees as wide as you can. And then bring the ankles in line with the knee. So the feet are not in here, they're in line with the knee and the feet are flat. So you've got like frog legs. You can stay here if you want to, but if this is too easy, you're gonna come down with your chest to the floor. Now, if you want to come down, you don't come forward and down because then the buttocks is moving. You want to keep the buttocks in line with your knees. Okay. And you can come down onto your elbows. If you feel good here, then you come even lower um, all the way on the chest. I hope not. I'm going to just let me remove this, the mic. And press your chest, chin, and we hold it. When you're ready to come up, inhale, press into the elbows, then the hands. Now very careful, bring your feet in, press into the hands, so all the weights on the hands, and then drag the knees in, feet in, knees in. And that's how you come out. Injuries happen easy when you come out the wrong way. Tip of the day. If you struggle with tight hips, then walking, you don't have to sprint, just a gentle walk will help to loosen your hips and your pelvis and also sitting on the floor. So try to sit more on the floor. It will help your hips to loosen up. Okay, so I personally have hip problems. Some of you already know that. Apparently, I was born with deformed hips. So there's a lot of restriction with bone on bone. 
and because the one side is different than the other side, it causes problem in my lower back and so on. You know, everything spreads out through the body. And I must say, from doing yoga regularly, it has really helped me managing my hip issues. As you get older, you know, the joints get quite tight and I, some people develop arthritis. And I think if I did not do yoga regularly, I would have had a lot of pain, but I'm basically pain free. Obviously, if I'm going to do something extreme, uh, my body, that's just normal, it's going to react. So yeah, so I am very grateful to moving my body every day and yoga. I hope you guys enjoyed this hip opening stretch. Hip opening stretches in just 15 minutes. <laughs> okay, so if you enjoyed, please hit the like button. And if you're new here, my name is Al. I'm from yogagangia.com. And subscribe if you want to see more of me. Have a lovely day and thank you for watching. Adiós. That's it.